Will Coach Rick Rhodes please stand? Rick Rhodes has a distinct presence in college football history as one of three coaches in school history to win a national championship. Rhodes' three seasons as the Trojans head coach led to a pair of Gulf South Conference titles and the 1987 NCAA Division II National Championship. He also won a national title as Troy's defensive coordinator in 1984. The Trojans rolled off 12 straight wins to close out the 1987 season, including a 31-17 victory over Portland State in the title game, for which Rhodes was named the National Coach of the Year. The run to the title featured several thrilling games as the Trojans forced eight turnovers in a 31-10 semifinal victory over Central Florida, and then rallied from a 10-3 halftime deficit in the win over Portland State. Rhodes compiled a 28-7-1 record in his three seasons at Troy and won all three of his games against in-state rivals Jacksonville State and West Alabama. The Trojans posted a 22-2 Gulf South Conference record during his tenure and won 19 of their final 20 league games. A graduate of Central Missouri State, Rhodes went on to serve as the head coach at Southern Illinois for one season before taking over as the offensive line coach at Alabama for one season and the offensive coordinator at Kentucky for two seasons. He later went on to serve as the head coach at Nichols State and Delta State. Rhodes has spent the last seven seasons coaching in Austria, Sweden, and France. It means a lot. And, uh, you know, we all uh, recognize when we all got, got back together here in the, in the early 80s that uh, something special had a chance to happen. And, uh, and that's a, another story in itself, I guess. But, uh, but the time that I was here meant a lot to us uh, as a family and as members of the coaching staff and as the head coach and the, inter the interaction with the players and the coaches in the city and, and uh, really the whole ball of wax, and I'd say. Uh, with time you realize that you really had a chance to be part of something very special. That uh, the mix of um, players and coaches and uh, families and support people, uh, the kind of city that uh, Troy was in, was just very unique. And, uh, uh, and it was something that uh, I've come to treasure really uh, uh, a great deal over the years. I think the thing that probably, frankly, all of us underestimated, because we've had a chance to talk about this some over the years, is uh, how special their willingness to buy in was. Uh, whether they agreed or disagreed, they really, uh, they tried to do it our way. Uh, and uh, and, and uh, I think that made it possible for us to do some really special things. I remember we beat Jackson State out here at the end of our first year, 45 and three. And, and uh, we kind of knew they had a chance to, to, you know, to, to really do something. Because everything prior to that hadn't been quite that smooth. And, uh, we ended up playing touch football on the, uh, on the upper practice field at about 2 a.m. just as a coaching staff. And, uh, uh, you know, I remember um, when I became the head coach, um, um, I think on the bus ride back from Thibodeau, Louisiana, I, think, I don't think uh, you'd have gotten much of a bet that I'd be sitting here today. Uh, not only did we get waxed, uh, the Nichols running back went uh, 68 yards, I think it was on the first play from scrimmage for them. And then, um, uh, after the game, after checking the most thoroughly, we left our office coordinator in Timber, and he went back on the band. So it was a pretty inauspicious start you know, to, to my tenure as, as, as the head coach here, which of course you know, led to the, to the second national championship in, uh, in, in Florence. Uh, Dr. Adams, Dr. Doug Hawkins, and uh, uh, Robert Stewart you know, for giving me the opportunity to, uh, to be. Uh, and uh, I certainly am uh, very, very grateful for that. Got to thank the coaches and players that I uh, worked with. Uh, great, great bunch of people. Uh, none of, none of this, in, in my opinion, none of what's here today, none of what we did would be possible if it hadn't been for the vision that those young men gave all of us. You know, got to thank my family that was so supportive. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. My, uh, uh, my father won uh, when I got the head job before I put a note in my, in my desk. Didn't know it, and it said, "Congratulations, we're really proud of you." It took a whole lot to get here. And it'll take a lot more stay. And uh, that was pretty, pretty prophetic. Uh, two wonderful boys that basically did a lot of them growing up in Troy. Uh, my wife, I mean, uh, I could never, ever thank her for all that she's done uh, for me in my life. And, uh, you know, 
there's somebody in our family that needs to be in the Hall of Fame in church. Or my mom and dad were really up to it. And uh, uh, they both died pretty suddenly. And a few years back, and one of the things you do is, you know, you have to take care of your estate and, and settle all that up. And I was going through some things, some things and I found my dad's journal. And uh, you know, my dad was like most World War II Depression guys, didn't ever have much to say about anything. It was, it was pretty, pretty private. But this journal was a fountain of information now. Uh, most of it I thoroughly loved reading. Some of it was pretty tough to take. But I remember that uh, he had one he had one little excerpt in there. Is I'd gone on to another school, a little bit bigger school, and so they'd been doing a game, and he talked about how much he appreciated it. It was a nice atmosphere and all that. But at the end, he wrote, but all in all, I'd rather be back home in Troy. And um, that really kind of sums up about the way we feel. Thank you.